Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me in another video for beginner tuba players. In the last video, we talked about how to buzz. Now, we will finally get to the tuba and talk about playing, so keep your tuba close. Please keep in mind that these videos are meant to build upon each other. So if you have not seen the first two videos about air and buzzing, please watch those before referring to this video as I will be referencing them throughout. Any professional wind musician and even string players will tell you that one of the most important exercises for developing a good sound is playing long tones. Long tones are exactly what they sound like. It means playing single notes for an extended period of time. I used to think that it was boring to play long tones, but that was because I didn't know why they were important. I thought, well, I already play a lot of long notes in my band music, so why do I need to practice more long notes? I eventually learned that the fact that my band music had so many long notes was exactly why I needed to spend the time practicing them. The tuba plays a very important role in the band. It provides a foundation that the band should be able to rest on top of. You want to have a beautiful, wide, and stable sound on every note so that the band can tune to you and they can feel supported. If there is more than one tuba player in your band, it's even more important to be able to play in tune and stay in tune throughout every long note. Also, long tones are the best way to focus on the quality of your sound. We can't really hear our tone long enough to work on it when we play shorter notes, right? Another thing about long tones is that they give you time to think about the three parts of a note, which are the attack, or the beginning, the sustain, or the middle, and the release, the end. You can practice the attack in many different ways, but I find it most important working first on starting the notes with only the air and no tongue. Why is that? Well, we discussed in the previous video about buzzing, that buzzing is created by the air meeting the embouchure and making it vibrate. While we do want to use the tongue when we play, we need to learn how to make the sound start with the air alone first, so that when we go to play a note, it will start right when we want it to. This is called an air attack. I always start my long tone practice with air attacks and later we'll just lightly add the tongue. For now, let's assume that the long tone exercises we discuss are all done with air attacks. So let's talk about some exercises we can do to work on long tones and to make them more interesting. I find that having specific things to focus on can help make it more fun. First, start with a comfortable open note, probably B flat in the staff or F just below the staff. Practice holding that note and focus on starting the note first. If you're having trouble getting a clean start without the tongue, try taking out the mouthpiece and buzzing it to feel what buzzing that note feels like. Then go back to the tuba and try again. Once you feel good about how the note starts, focus on the sound during the sustain. Do you like that sound? If you don't, try reminding yourself of the right quality of air that we discussed in the previous video, and check your embouchure for firm corners and loose lips. It is okay to experiment and to try to find the sound that you like. Long tones are the perfect time to do that. Once you like your sound, you can focus on maintaining the sound throughout the long tone. It's okay if you don't find the exact sound that you want to. Get as close as you can and do the long tone with that sound. Over time, keep experimenting and be patient. Sometimes our muscles just need to develop before being able to find that sound that we want. So just keep working on it. Listen to me play an F and a B flat a couple of times just for a sound reference in case you're not sure what you want to sound like. Now, that's a lot that you can focus on with just one note, right? You can and should do that with different notes as well. 
You can also work on your sustain and releases by adding a metronome. Let's turn on a metronome at 100 beats per minute. We're going to play a note for four beats, rest for one, inhale for one, and repeat. Try to play the same note at least twice, and then try switching to other notes. Try, th try this pattern with me. Pause the video to take a look at it, and then play along with me. Four beats, and we're in. When you work on this by yourself, if you find a note that gives you trouble, you can stop the metronome and work on just that note, however much you need. You can also work on changing notes during long tones. Try this four part pattern and focus on keeping a good sound between notes. I will play the patterns one at a time, and each day you can choose one or two to practice, or you can play through all of them. Pause the video to take a moment to look at it and then you can try playing along with me. Pattern number one, four beats and we are in. Pattern number two, four beats and we're in. Pattern number three, four beats and we're in. Pattern number four, four beats and we're in. Practicing long tones can seem boring, but I hope you found how much you can learn from them and how much you can do with them. I recommend practicing long tones as much as you can, but at least 10 minutes every day. That's it for this video. If you're a band director or you teach a beginner tuba student, please feel free to share this video with them. If you're a student and you learned something from this video, then please share it with your tuba friends. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you next time.